Okay, in this video we're going to continue with some other design elements. Now, let's go here to background. As you can see, this is our background here. Now, you can use different backgrounds. If we go here, go change the background. We can use our own picture, so we could choose a file just like we did for our logo here. Or, we can use some from here. So, okay, so they have lots of different pictures that we could use if we want here. So if we can find one that's more appropriate within their supplied pictures, we can use one of those. And as you see, they have quite a number. We can also go to infinitely pictures and we can find pictures in here. Okay, so you see there are a lot of different places where we can find our pictures. So that's how we can change the background for the whole site. I'm going to leave it as it is at this point. Now if you want to remove the image you can do it right here. We have colors so we can set the color palette here. So that's just our background color. Alignment. Okay here we have tiling. Right now it's set to no tiling. Now if we had a smaller image it would tile if we pick the tiling type we want. So you see the different types of tiling we can use there. Now the size, fill window, the actual size, and in this case since we're using the image that's in here it's not really making any difference but depending on what image we got. Okay, so it's it's not going to make any difference that we can see with the image we're using here. And whether we're going to have scroll effects. Okay, so that's how you can choose set the background to your page. Now sections, these are the sections that we have here. So we have profile, social, blog, and message me. Okay, so we can change the background on each of those if we want. So if we wanted to change the background for instance on our blog, we can use a different background here. So let's change the picture and let's use, well let's use say this one for our blog. Okay, so Let's back out of sections here. Okay, so you'll see that we have our main background up here and behind our news, but behind our blog now we have the bubblegum. And then down under message me we go back to this one again. Okay, so you can set different backgrounds for different sections. Now let's go into settings. Now here we can change the page name if we want. Okay, subdomain we're not going to change. We can change the favicon if we want. This is when somebody adds it to their favorites. We can use a favic favicon. And now here is our description. We could change our description. These are your meta tags. And these are for search engines. We can put our PayPal email address in here if we're going to use a donation button. And then let's update. Okay, now let's go back into sections. We have here, the, the page mode is one long page. So every section we have here is just one under the other. However, we can change it to multiple pages here. Okay, and what it's going to do is it's going to give us a different page for each section. Now if we were to preview this, let's preview it in web. Let it load up. Okay, so we have our profile and then we have social. Okay, that'll bring up the social page. The blog will bring up the blog page and message me will bring up the message me page. So for each section we will have 
a separate page okay so if you want to do it that way you can do that with your sections so I'm going to set this back because I just want it on one long page now let's go back into sections again you can actually add more sections so if we click on add more sections what it'll do is it creates another section here so if we click edit we can call this something else about me for instance about this site whatever you want save now just like before if you wanted to you could put a separate image in here just edit the background okay let's finish this up in the next video